the fun. And the cars, indeed, that particular car, Liam Plan, has been racing for many, many years. Plan, a little bit of trouble, seemed to lose out a little bit there to Cunningham. Cunningham certainly quicker through S O N in with a chance of maybe challenging him again up the Ford straight. Spain doesn't seem to get the second gear part of Esso, which is the tight bit. You've got to set yourself up coming around that corner for the next one, which is Castle, which is flat in third gear. The Mini, or whether it's Finton's excellent driving is, he seems to get an advantage through Castle and up the hill. They're four abreast now. And it's Dempsey trying on the grass down the outside to get into second place. Crozier, and he's still trying. He's moved up into third place. Next one is a left-hander. He has the advantage. They lean on each other going through, and Dempsey holds third place. A very brave manoeuvre by Morgan Dempsey indeed down at the shell there, and he really hung on to it. It looked, it looked as if the car was going to get away from him for a minute, but uh, he held on to it beautifully. So Dempsey now a threat up in third place. And Cunningham really has got to get past Clark if he's not going to come into trouble from the Mullingar man. A back marker in the way, but they see him. It looks like Paulick Ford, I think, there. One of the back markers. There's number 42, then. Leo Plas still in the lead on his sixth lap, on his seventh lap, six laps completed. Leo Plas, then, with once again, Vinton Cunningham in a challenging position. The Vinton is going to make a move. He'll want to make it soon to get ahead of Morgan because Morgan, at the rate he's travelling up to the field from fifth place, he's on the outside trying for Shell. He's going to try the same manoeuvre again now. Let's see if Vinton lets him away with it. He's in, he's in. They're side by side. He has the inside line, Vinton. He's keeping making that hairpin very wide. No, back into third goes Morgan. Now, Vinton must get by Liam if he's to fend off Morgan. If he stays where he is, I think Morgan may pip him by and be away after Liam, and we'll have a two midget in the front first two. Well, Morgan Dempsey trying the same manoeuvre he used to get past George Crozier, but it's not working with a very experienced fit of Cunningham. Cunningham then leaving the door open a little bit for Morgan, and it must be contact, and I think he's lost it. Morgan Dempsey may be up into second. He's got him. He's got him. And another back marker in the way, and I hope they all see him. They do. So it's a midget battle for the lead again. Liam Plough and Morgan Dempsey. For many years, these two have been battling it out around Mandela, and it can become pretty hot and heavy at times. Well, there's no love lost in the sense that the boat wants to win. Good friends off the track. But there you see Finton trying again. Now, as I said, once Dempsey got by Finton Cunningham, it would be a midget battle. These cars are fairly even. Practice times, Morgan was little under a second quicker than Liam. But as I said, Liam hasn't been driving for the past six months. And as Dempsey on the outside, he's got through. A lovely manoeuvre down the outside and around. Now let's see if he can pull away if Liam has anything left to come back at him. It's easier to follow than it is to lead. Now if Liam can relax and pull back this car length and if Finton backs off a bit and lets Liam have a go, we might have a change of lead again. Well, they're on their ninth lap of this 12-lap uh, GT and a modified saloon car race, and there they go. And uh, Cunningham and Plough really threw it away that time. Liam Plough, I think it's la his lack of racing recently is probably tiring a little bit. Absolutely handed second place there to Vincent Cunningham, but he's having a go back. He will be very annoyed with himself with that manoeuvre. No, I don't think I don't think Liam actually thought for a minute that Finton was going to try that manoeuvre down a flat third, the first king to drop him to come down the inside, get it all stopped and around. It's not a normal pace. He'd been watching Finton trying the outside all day and suddenly gets caught in the inside. Dempsey slightly sideways there. Now Crozier is beginning to put pressure on Liam Flower. Maybe possibly there's something wrong with Liam the past and tired of being the car is going. Finton, it looks Dempsey has a nice lead now, a nice cushion, three car lengths, which is a nice cushion in this type of racing. Well, Dempsey really has done it all at Bud Sports. He's been champion in 77, 79, 80, and indeed 81. Four times Mod Sports champion of Ireland. And there he goes. Looks like he's going to clean up this one, but he certainly gave us a lot of drama on his way. They are now nine laps completed. He's on his tenth lap with three laps to go. Just a little odd of three laps to go now, of course. Morgan Dempsey, then the Mullingar driver, and his brother also racing in this race. But Vinton Cunningham certainly gluing on, and he hasn't given up trying. And there's a back marker's in the way, and this is a sort of tricky situation. It's the thing that happens, possibly on the last lap, that the back marker doesn't see the leaders. He's one through, two through. Finton, a flyer through there. Finton, Liam got slightly delayed. I don't think Finton can do it unless he's got unbelievable brakes as he goes into the tight hairp, and he sets the car up on the bump, comes out at a nice angle, and way down the straight. Dempsey really trying, using the curbs and using all the track and a little bit more. It's still only one of these things. George 
Crozier now in Crofton in a bit. Crozier, in fact, uh, going to be the GT champion, the saloon car champion this year. He's got 84 points as opposed to George Friend with 79, who's not uh, figuring in this one at all. Oh, they amalgamated the classes. We did have a saloon car race up to two years ago and the midget race, but due to lack of entries in both, they amalgamated the two for what they call the GT class, and it's made for some interesting racing because most of the saloon cars are the minis with the front wheel drive in against the midgets which are rear wheel drive. So you've got the two types of driving out there and the distinct advantages of each one show up, the late braking of the minis yet the superior cornering on the fast corners of the midget rear wheel drive midgets. Morgan Dempsey then leading this one, a man of many talents. Uh, clay pigeon shooting, wild bird shooting, freshwater fishing, and indeed chess. And he's certainly checkmated his uh, friends today so far in this one. Think about Morgan, he runs an engineering works of his own in Mullingar. And everything on the car here, he builds himself, he has built it a situation, he has put disc brakes on the back of the car. He's moved the radiator from the front to the back of the car. He's tried all sorts of modifications, and it's a credit to him. It's all his own design. The exhaust on a normal midget comes out underneath the body. He has it in through the passenger well on the passenger side, and it comes out to the side of the body so that it doesn't foul on the tight corners. So he's on his last lap. Morgan Dempsey on his last lap then in the highly modified Castrol backed uh, midget there with the other sponsorship. And there he goes right out to the edge of the track and there's nothing really that Finton Cunningham is going to be able to do it now, do about him now. Finton Cunningham still trying on a very inside line there at SO that one. And again, another man about to be lapped before the end of this one. Dempsey going to go through past the outside of him. John Hayes it is, uh, is gobbled up in that maneuver. And there he goes, Morgan Dempsey, down to take this one and the Holmes Patrick Trophy, a beautiful trophy, always donated each year by the Cunningham. And in third place, just uh, behind him indeed, was uh, Liam Plyer. Well, a very good effort from Morgan Dempsey. At one stage there, he was in fourth position. When the rain came, he lost.